Welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Outlook 2021 tutorial. In this tutorial, I'll be discussing about Outlook views and pins. So Outlook is comprised of several main views or screen that you can swap between. It actually depends on exactly what you are doing in Outlook at a specific moment. So if you are taking your mail, for example, you may want to be in your mail view. So which is of course is what we are looking at right now and it's what opens by default when you open Outlook at the first time. So anytime you open Outlook at the first time, it's going to take you to your home and automatically you'll be in your mail view. So the mail is split into three functions. The first you can see on the left hand side we have our folder pane. And the center here you'll find your mailbox pane and to the right, right side you'll find your reading so if I click on a specific email, for example, here you can see we have our reading pane, which of course we explained gives you a preview of what email you've selected, but you can always customize your pane. So if, for example, let's say you are working um, on a tablet or you're working on a small laptop screen. To actually have a very clear view or to have a more, more, more room to see your preview email, what you can do is, let me just, here you can see we have the option called minimize the folder so by just clicking on minimize the folder you can see the, the folder is actually minimized into kind of a vertical bar but here we can see we have more space to actually view uh, mail this is actually a, a ideal if you are using a laptop or you are using a small tablet and and also if for example you want to actually expand the reading pane or the view pane so what we can actually do we can decide to actually just click here on this vertical bar and decide to actually just split you can see we can move or just drag it a little bit further here you can see we have that we now have more options or we can actually just take it back again to smaller and you can see our reading pane becomes more bigger or smaller but sometimes also um, i've seen this a lot actually at my workplace some users will actually prefer their reading pane to be different than what it is right now so if i go to view Another view you can see we have here we have the layout. So now the layout we can go to the reading pane. Here you can see we have two, two options. We have the right, which is of course at this moment my reading pane is at the right, and I can actually switch it to the bottom. If I switch to the bottom, you can see that my reading my reading view just changed from the right hand side to the bottom. But if for example I want to take it back again, I can just decide to switch and then just put it off. Or I can decide to just say, okay, well, I don't want to actually to be, I want to have my right um, view again the way it was. I just switch back again to right. And here we go. You can see we have our reading pane at the right. And also I can actually just, if I, if you want to actually, I can expand the folder pane again and by just clicking on the folder pane and then just try to pin the folder back again to the way it was. So another feature I want to actually show you again in view is actually what we call the to-do bar. So if I click on the to-do bar, you can see we have here the calendar, people, and task. So if I click here on the calendar, so here you can see it's going to show you your calendar. So every single appointment you have actually will be displayed here at the right hand side of your screen, of your Outlook view. I can actually just also switch from the to-do bar and then switch to my contacts. Here you see all your contact list here. You can search for a specific contact. Or we can actually switch again back again to a uh, task we are actually performing at the moment. But mind you, we also have some other views we can actually... So the mail view is actually great for managing our mails. But if we want to manage our scheduled an appointment, we need to go to our calendar which is actually different than the view we are seeing here so we need to go down here below you can see we have the different view we have our mail our calendar so if i click on my calendar here so it is from here we are going to actually manage our calendar i'm going to discuss about the calendar in the actually different video and also if i here you can see we have the people here i can actually search for my contact actually my contact or i can actually go also to my task view here you can see we have the task so clicking on the three dot also will also give us more options to here you can see we have our notes, folders, and shortcuts. But if you want to actually switch back again to any of the view, we just need to click, for example, we can go back again and just click on the mail view and automatically it will take us to our mails view. 
So this is just a quick overview of the various Outlook views and pain we have in Outlook 2021. So next, I'll be discussing about the ribbon, the bar, and the status bar in our Outlook 2021. And please don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel for more IT videos. So I'll be doing different tutorials on different IT software and IT products, or like for example, Windows 11. So if you subscribe to my YouTube channel, if I create any new tutorial, you're going to get a notification about this tutorial. Thank you very much and please don't forget to actually comment if you have any suggestion or any comment or any question about Outlook. You can always leave your comment and I'll reply to you as quick as possible. Thank you very much. Ian.